Hello, and welcome to my bathroom, more specifically, my bathtub. Um, so I was planning on doing a coffee scrub, and I thought, hey, this would be the perfect natural opportunity to make a video. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so truthfully, I wanted to do a review on this Slender Body Coffee Scrub, but I kind of feel like the bathtub, like obviously you have to put it on the bathtub, but that's sort of like an intimate place to be making a video. So I'm just gonna like push the envelope even further and share some like intimate information also while doing this product review. So let's see what happens. Here's my, here's my preliminary thoughts on coffee scrubs. I don't drink coffee, but even though I don't drink coffee, I actually really, really love the smell of coffee. And this coffee scrub is the only one that's made with cacao oil. And I don't know if you've seen my cacao oil video, but it's kind of like a must have in my beauty bag. I will put a link to my cacao oil video. I'm getting hints of coffee. And uh, there's several notes of uh, coffee. And also, Oh yeah, definitely, like, I want to say it's like a woodsy, but still a coffee smell. The instructions say that you want to take a shower for at least two minutes, and this is so that the steam from the shower can open up the pores in your legs, and basically so the product can work more effectively. So obviously I can't take a video in the shower, so I um, soaked my legs for about two minutes and in hot water, so they're nice and like hot and steamy. It's really hot in here actually. I'm being really honest. Super hot and muggy. Okay, so then after you have steamed your legs, you take two handfuls of the coffee scrubs and you apply it liberally all over your legs in circular motions. I shall demonstrate this now. Oh. Circles all around. Very stimulating on the legs. Like so. It says that you should apply it to your problem areas, but my problem areas cannot be seen on camera at this time. So I'm applying it to my calves. It's almost like a sunless tanner. I feel tanner already. Look. See? Shall we do the other leg? Okay. Dirt. Smells like coffee, but it looks like dirt. If my husband came in right now, I'd be like, Nothing? So then, you let the coffee sit in the scrub. It just kind of marinates on your legs for a little bit. And then you could do that for about five to 10 minutes. And if you really want the caffeine to like go all sorts of crazy, you could even wrap your legs in saran wrap. I'm not gonna do that right now, but that's an option. I mean, caffeine is amazing for the skin because it tightens your skin, it brightens your skin, and it will even tighten up cellulite temporarily. So this isn't like a permanent cure, it's not a replacement for working out, but if you're going to the beach or something like that, you could absolutely use the scrub, put it on your thighs, wherever it is that you have cellulite that you're wanting to neutralize, wrap it up in saran wrap for about five to 10 minutes, and boom, 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 you are ready to go. So I'm just gonna let mine sit, and we'll chat for a little bit while it's sitting. Shall we chat? So I thought I would, I guess, answer questions that I usually ignore. And that is about um, my tattoos. So I sometimes, like, yes, I have tattoos, first and foremost. And sometimes they show up in videos and people will be like, hey, is that a tattoo of a dolphin, I say? I don't have a dolphin tattoo. But anyways, and I normally just ignore them because I feel like once I go there, I have to like really go there and talk about it. And the reason I guess I don't is because I don't want somebody to like watch my videos or Instagram and be like, oh, well, Whippy Cake has a tattoo or tattoo, so I'm gonna go get in a bunch of tattoos. So if you continue to watch this, you must agree that you will not base any decisions to get tattoos off of me and my decisions because I'm not saying they're good and I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying I have them. Can I do that? Yeah, sure, I can do that. 
So um, lately, the more specific one that people are asking about is my semicolon because it's obviously visible in like hair videos and stuff. And yes, I do have the semicolon tattoo on my wrist, and I wear it proudly because um, if you know the story of the semicolon, there's actually several articles about it. There's a semicolon project, and I can include a link to that. But basically the point of it is a semicolon is used when an author could end a sentence but chooses to continue on. And so in this particular, like the semicolon project, that is an analogy for one's life. So you're the author of your own life and when you could choose to end it or commit suicide more specifically, we basically encourage that you use your semicolon and continue on in your life. And so. I, that just like really, really touched and I don't know, it just inspires me so much, especially because my mom has had depression my whole life. Several of my siblings, including my twin brother, who I love so dearly, has struggled with depression and um, it's a real thing and I think I'm sad that it's 2016 and people are now just giving it the attention that it deserves. But. It's very, very close to my heart. Several of my friends, my close friends, have struggled with this also, and I'm seeing and hearing of kids who are committing suicide and parents who are committing suicide that are taking my life because of this thing that they feel like they can't get out from under. And so yeah, this is just my reminder of, um, you know, people struggle and we need to be their support and be understanding. And then also for me, in, on a personal level, I mean, I don't struggle, thankfully I don't struggle with depression regularly. I have been depressed before, but for me, the semicolon is when things get really hard, uh, you know, like my business more specifically, and there have been times where I've really just wanted to end it and be done. So the semicolon is representative of my decision to just keep persevering even when it is hard or when I'm faced with challenges that I feel like I'm never gonna be able to get past. And instead of, like I said, just ending it, I decide to use a semicolon and keep the story going. So um, that is why I have the semicolon tattoo. Like I said, I'll include more links so you could read more about it. Um, but this is like one that I really spent a lot of thought and time into. My other tattoos were very impulsive. I got at a very bad time in my life when I was like 19 or 20. And they say that tattoos are really addicting. They totally are because within six months, I got like three tattoos. And so, um, yeah, that's the portion of my tattoo story. Maybe someday I will show you more, but that's all for now. That's enough bathtub talk for now. I'm gonna rinse this off. So all of the coffee scrub is rubbed off and my legs feel ridiculously smooth, like unbelievably smooth. I totally recommend doing something like this before any pool trips, beach trips, even before sunless tanners because it's gonna exfoliate your skin and make sure that your sunless tanner is penetrating and going on evenly and then lasting a lot longer. So it's a great, great uh, sunless tan tanner extender. So I give the Slender Body Scrub an A++. A++. What's like above an A plus? I don't know, 110%? Six stars? What else could I give it? An Emmy? I give it an Emmy. That's all the time I have for now. Thanks for watching and thank you so much for sharing this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos to come. Bye.